Mastering Data Interpretation Skills We're blindly churning out mediocrity without metrics that matter. Why do we need to identify and focus on the most critical operational metrics that our organization should be tracking? And what are these metrics that will enable us to measure and achieve operational excellence? The thrill of the chase, the pursuit of perfection, the never-ending quest for operational excellence. Let me tell you a story about a journey I took with a client, a manufacturing powerhouse, that drove home the importance of pinpointing the most critical operational metrics. We were in the midst of a comprehensive overhaul, aimed at streamlining their production process, reducing waste, and boosting overall efficiency. Sounds simple enough, but trust me, it was a behemoth of a task. The data was overwhelming, the stakeholders were many, and the pressure was mounting. As I delved deeper into the organization, I began to realize that the key to success lay not in the complexity of the data, but in our ability to distill it down to its essence. I needed to find the hidden patterns, the subtle connections, and the most telling indicators that would guide our decision-making process. I recall one particular meeting with the production team, where we poured over reams of data, trying to make sense of it all. It was like searching for a needle in a haystack, except the haystack was on fire, and the needle was invisible. Frustration was written all over their faces, and I could sense the collective energy of the room plummeting. That's when I decided to take a step back, to clear the noise, and focus on the essence of the matter. I asked the team to forget about the data for a moment, and instead, imagine themselves as customers, waiting anxiously for their orders to arrive. What would they want to know? What would they consider critical to their satisfaction? The room fell silent, and for a few fleeting moments, I worried that I had lost them. But then, like a dam bursting its banks, the ideas began to flow. They spoke about on-time delivery, product quality, and order fulfillment rates. They talked about the importance of transparent communication and the need for real-time updates. And just like that, the fog lifted, and the critical operational metrics began to reveal themselves. We weren't looking for fancy stats or complicated algorithms, we were searching for the heart of the matter, the measures that would make a tangible difference to the customer experience. Over the next few weeks, we worked tirelessly to develop a customized dashboard, one that would showcase these vital signs and provide a unified view of the organization's operational health. It wasn't easy, and there were times when we felt like throwing in the towel, but we persevered. The end result was nothing short of remarkable. The production team was empowered, the data was demystified, and the organization was finally able to measure what mattered most. They could see how their daily efforts were impacting the customer, and that knowledge sparked a sense of ownership and accountability. As I look back on that journey, I'm reminded of the power of simplicity, of peeling back the layers to reveal the essence of the problem. It's not about the complexity of the data, it's about our ability to find the hidden patterns, the subtle connections, and the most telling indicators. In the end, Operational excellence is not just about tracking metrics, it's about understanding what drives your customers and using that knowledge to fuel your pursuit of perfection. So, the next time you're drowning in a sea of data, take a step back, remember the customer, and let their needs guide you towards the critical operational metrics that will make all the difference. Identifying and focusing on the most critical operational metrics is crucial for an organization to measure and achieve operational excellence. These metrics serve as key performance indicators KPIs, that provide insights into the organization's performance, helping to identify areas of strength and weakness. By tracking the right metrics, organizations can make data-driven decisions to optimize their operations, improve efficiency, reduce costs, and enhance customer satisfaction. To identify the most critical operational metrics, organizations should follow a structured approach. This involves understanding the organization's goals and objectives, identifying the key processes that drive those goals, and determining the metrics that best measure the performance of those processes. Some common critical operational metrics that organizations may track include 1. Lead time the time it takes to complete a process or fulfill a customer request. 
this metric helps organizations identify bottlenecks and opportunities for process improvement. 2. Throughput. The quantity of output produced within a given time frame. This metric measures the organization's ability to meet customer demand and generate revenue. 3. Cycle time. The time it takes to complete a specific task or process. This metric helps organizations identify areas for process improvement and optimize task allocation. 4. Defect rate. The number of defects or errors per unit of output. This metric measures the quality of the organization's products or services and helps identify opportunities for quality improvement. 5. Utilization the percentage of available resources being used to generate output. This metric measures the efficiency of resource allocation and identifies opportunities to optimize resource utilization. 6. Customer satisfaction measures the degree to which customers are satisfied with the organization's products or services. This metric helps organizations identify areas for improvement and ensure customer loyalty. 7. Cost per unit the cost of producing one unit of output. This metric measures the organization's cost structure and helps identify opportunities for cost reduction. 8. Inventory turns. The number of times inventory is sold and replaced within a given time frame. This metric measures the organization's ability to manage inventory and reduce waste. 9. Mean time between failures, MTBFE, the average time between equipment failures. This metric measures the reliability of equipment and identifies opportunities for maintenance and improvement. 10. Mean time to repair, MTTR, the average time it takes to repair equipment. This metric measures the efficiency of maintenance processes and identifies opportunities for process improvement. Once the critical operational metrics have been identified, organizations should establish target values for each metric and develop a plan to track and analyze the data. This involves 1. Defining data collection procedures, establishing processes for collecting data on each metric, including the frequency of data collection and the tools used to collect the data. 2. Establishing data analysis procedures, defining how the data will be analyzed, including the use of statistical process control, SPC, methods, and data visualization tools. 3. Setting target values, establishing target values for each metric, including minimum and maximum acceptable values. 4. Developing a continuous improvement process, creating a process for reviewing and analyzing the data, identifying areas for improvement, and implementing changes to achieve operational excellence. By focusing on the most critical operational metrics, organizations can measure their performance, identify areas for improvement, and make data-driven decisions to achieve operational excellence. This leads to increased efficiency, reduced costs, and enhanced customer satisfaction.